Hello, Admiral Robbery here, and I am back because I enjoy making these videos. We will be back. Wait, what? Anyway, we, in the last part, we got owned by Vile and saved by Zero. Anyway, we are going to be taking on our Mavericks, and because it is by law that if you do not shake on Shield Penguin, whose height is 5.34 feet, weight 237 pounds, attacks are shotgun, ice, and sliding, it is punishable by law. Seriously. Everyone takes on Shell Penguin first. And there are a few reasons which I, will, which I will explain along the way. But first of all, is its cool music. Well, I guess people don't appreciate this music as much as I do, but it is good music. And you know what? This entire game has an awesome soundtrack, seriously. It's just, like, amazing. It This blows me away. And merely, the, with the remake, uh, Maverick Hunter X for the PSP, uh, music's okay. They kind of went over the top with techno and if you're playing as vile, uh, they kind of, like, did a ton of metal and stuff, but, yeah. Wow, I did not mean to kill that bat. Anyway, these are bat bones or bat and bones or whatever you want to call them. Either way, they're pretty pathetic. Uh, they can get killed in one shot. Uh, no matter how uncharged it is, and yeah, they're pretty pathetic. See? Boom. Pathetic enemies are pathetic. So yeah, first re second reason is that uh, the enemies are pretty wimpy here. Third reason will be coming up quite soon, and if the game will be nice to me, here we are. What's this strange capsule-like thing? Dr. Light? So you've come. X, I give you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now that it seems that you are destined to fight, because I thought the world might need a new champion, I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find them and use them, you'll be able to increase your powers beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. So, that mysterious T-Light is actually Thomas Light, or Dr. Light, who was creator of Mega Man, and Mega Man X is his person who... The opposite of a precursor, basically. I forgot what the opposite of a precursor is. Um, anyway, we now get the ability to slide. You can do it by pressing the button you are moving in twice, or by just pressing another button, which was made exclusively for it. Which, I usually use a ladder, and it is so much easier to use. You can pull off wall jumps and everything. It is incredibly useful, and I enjoy the feature a lot. It's because with Mega Man and Base, whenever playing his base, one of my main concerns about him is that you had to press it twice in order to dash, and it made it, like, so much harder. Anyway, we have our mech armor here. It can destroy those things. It can destroy that thing. It can destroy a lot of crap. And we have these guys, who are also wearing mech armors, but these guys suck, because they're not awesome repoids developed by Dr. Light. Anyway, uh, going over here will be a secret which we will reach later, but for now, we will continue on, oh no. You have these enemies, they will throw snowballs at you. Meaning that the ultimate Reploid Mega Man X is destroyed by snowballs. Or can be. Like, honestly, what was, what, what were the, what were the designers of the game, or even the designers of this normal area just thinking like, Oh, I know. Let's make people. Let's make these evil robots who throw snow at Mega Man X to kill him. Like, seriously? Anyway, we have reached our boss. And as usual, once we defeat him, we will get his power. But which power is it that he uses? This is Chill Penguin, and he has a life bar which is way stronger than, which is stronger, way bigger than all of ours. Um, but we'll be getting a large health bar like that soon since a lot of this game is collecting slowly. Anyway, he's not too hard. He actually takes knockback from your normal X-Buster. Uh, 
speak of the devil. Alright. As soon as I say he's not too hard. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by him is all. Since you're... You have a pretty low health bar while taking this guy on. If you're not used to him or you're just careless like I was, you can actually get hit by him. But normally he's not too hard. As I was saying, he takes knockback from the Mega Buster. You're probably going to want to use charged shots. You can make these snow sculptures, which are annoying, but uh, they can they can be bypassed. I mean, they don't actually move at you unless he decides to create that snowstorm thing. And they can't be destroyed with enough X Buster hits. And this is all he wants to do. He has his shock and ice technique, which will, he will make a multiple of ice shots toward you. They'll either go along the ground or they'll go in midair. And most of the time, he'll just, between attacks, he'll just do that one weird sliding thing where he hits the wall. But of course, we have our wall cling, and that makes it, like, miles easier. And. Yeah. That's basically it. Oh. That would be shock and ice, but this thing is protecting me, and now it can go in and hit him. Kind of good strategy you want to use there. Oh, jeez. Ah, no, my perfect run of this fight was broken, at least this time. Anyway, he'll be going down. Explosions, explosions, explosions. Wow, wait a minute. Nothing actually happened. The first two takes of this thing, there were like some problems with the system, but fine, it decides to be nice. Anyway, we're done here. And this is our weapon get screen. Shows a picture of X, it shows what the weapon is, you get shotgun ice. Uh, it's a quick moving weapon and whenever it hits a wall, it'll bounce back and forth different things. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, it's a lot like the freeze cracker from Mega Man 7, but it's a lot faster. It's more like a sniper bullet, and uh, it's actually a lot more powerful than many people think. Anyway, that's Chill Penguin, down, and in the next part we will take, be taking on some more Mavericks. Uh, I'm just going to take this opportunity to say right here that it will not be in perfect order, while the main order would be Chill Penguin, then Spark Mandrill, then Spark Mandrill beats Armored Armadillo, Armored Armadillo beats Launch Octopardo, Octopardo beats Kawanger, Kwanger beats, who did Kwanger beat? Um, Kwanger beats Chameleon, Chameleon beats Eagle, and Eagle beats Mammoth, and Mammoth beats Chill. Um, that is not how I'm going to be doing it, I'm going to be doing it so there will be as little backtracking as possible. So yeah, that's basically it for now, so next time on Mega Man X, we will be going onward in the position of killing Mavericks and getting weapons and being a jerk. Well, yeah, actually whenever I put it that way, X does sound like a jerk. Anyways, see you guys then.